Hello Fantasy Faithfuls and welcome to Fantasy Snapshot where I'm looking at one of my favorite runners out there in Matt Breida. Matt Breida slices through the Giants defense. And Breida, that's going to be a 49er touchdown. Breida is facing the Washington Redskins in week 7. The Redskins give up 21.2 points to running backs on average, 8th most in the NFL with 4.3 yards per carry and 6 touchdowns. Breaking down his rushing, just look at Breida and how versatile the play calling is for him. He only has one running lane with more than 20% and no lane with less than 10%. This is perfect for fantasy as he's not just used in one way against certain teams but this works in any situation. Which for the case against Washington is not the biggest of deals as they give up yards pretty much everywhere. When we look at his yards per carry, we see that he is extremely efficient on runs outside the gorge, being above league average in all these lanes, especially to the left side of the field with almost 6 yards per carry to all 3 lanes. And this is the best thing, the Redskins give up over 5 yards per carry to the left lanes, so Brita will hurt them on every carry there and probably break one for a big game. The floor is one of my major issues with Breida and this is mainly due to him having so many colleagues in that backfield that does not take away from him having a great ceiling though. His boom champs is not that high, more than an average one but with a high ceiling I am okay with this. What I do like though is the low bus risk. With a low floor your bus risk should be low so I'm happy to see this. His touchdown rate over the last 3 years has been 1.9% which is on the lower side of the spectrum but still not crazy low that this is a major concern but I will talk more about this when I get into the red zone part. What other 49ers are playing at the moment, the way they're using Brita in combination with how the Redskins handle running backs I have him predicted for 14 carries and 2 targets. Hey, this young man grew up and try to put yourself in, in that position and here he is off to the races. He has one defender to beat. He's going to cut it back to the inside. Yes he will and that is a touchdown. I would like to take a second to remind you to hit that like button, leave a comment what you think about this video and subscribe to the channel. I love every interaction I have with y'all and every little bit helps me put out even more content. So far this season, Brita should have been started twice with one RB13 finish in week 2 and one RB5 finish in week 5. He has some really average opponents looking ahead with the 16th easiest schedule for running backs moving forward. Looking at this week's situation, the 49ers are on the road versus a bottom 16 run defense with a below 500 record. For Brita, this is almost too good to be true. He usually is better at home, so that is a negative. But when facing bad run defenses, he scores a ton over his average and even more against teams with a losing record. Great outlook for this game. In 2019, he has only seen two red zone carries and with that, he has done pretty much nothing. He has no touchdowns, no first downs, and this is only 3.2% of the team's red zone carries. So this is my biggest issue with Brita. I love almost everything else connected to him in fantasy production. Based on all these stats, he has a risk factor of 59.4% of not reaching his projection this week. So for the game against the Washington Redskins, I have him projected for a massive 13.2 fantasy points. So in conclusion, he has great rushing patterns and a fantastic situation, but the way he's going to score a touchdown will be from a longer run, which is not a given. Curse the depth in the backfield on this team. What do you think about Brita? Are you starting him this week? And what do you think about him moving forward? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more weekly content. Here in October, and he's got this running game working as you see with Matt Brita. And look at the speed on Brita. What a way to start it. 83 yard touchdown. Hello, Fantasy Faithful. I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to check out more of them right here and here. In case you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a beat.